Well, hey guys, good morning. So, um, I didn't want to do this on my birthday, but um, this last night I had two crazy dreams, okay? Um, and I think they were a warning for what's to come. I don't usually get dreams. The last dream I had was um, about Obama, and then the Lord gave me messages after that. And then I had a dream of the rapture in 2014. So usually he just gives me prophecies or messages and not dreams. Um, so, okay, first of all, in this dream, I was hanging out with people that were close to me. I don't want to mention who they were, um, just for privacy reasons, but they were really close to me. And one of them gave somebody a bottle of water. And all of a sudden, when that person drank it, her stomach hurt. And the person who gave it to her was like, no, don't, you gave her that? It has fentanyl in it. The weirdest thing, okay? And so I was like freaking out, trying to figure out how to get this person to the doctor. Um, and then there was someone in there saying, oh no, don't trust the medical field. Oh, okay, so then I woke up, but when I woke up, um, or before I woke up, this person that was drinking the water had seizures and was passing. And I was freaking out trying to get help. And then when I woke up, I'm like screaming in my dream to help this person. And um, when I woke up, I felt the Lord holding my hand because when he gives me a message, he squeezes my hand a lot of times. And so I am actually at church right now with the family, so I had to step outside real quick and excuse the rain. Um, but anyway, this. Uh, then I went back to sleep. Then I had another dream. Um, I was sleeping and um, I was in this meeting. It was like a real estate meeting and I was trying to present something and I was telling them a plan on how to get good drinking water. Um, and it was, it was talking about the water being messed up again and I was trying to warn people. And then before I woke up, I heard April 16th three times. And then I woke up and I started praying to Jesus when I woke up and I said, Jesus, what is going on? I said, um, what was that dream? Because it really freaked me out. And he said, write this down, my child. So here's the message. First he gave me, it's March, it's March 26, 2023. I claim that Jesus Christ came to earth as a man in the flesh and died on the cross and shed his blood for us. And he rose on the third day. Okay. Ignore Telegram and WhatsApp <clears throat> on YouTube. They're scammers. March 26, 2023. Exodus 13, 15. And it came to pass when Pharaoh was stubborn about letting us go that the Lord filled all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beast. Therefore, I sacrificed to the Lord all males that opened the womb, but all the firstborn of my sons I redeemed. Revelation 11, 9. Then those from the people's tribes, tongues, and nations will see their dead bodies three and a half days and not allow their dead bodies to be put into the graves. <clears throat> those are the witnesses, guys. He told me Lard, uh, Sardis and Laodicea with the spirit of Elijah and Enoch. Those are the martyrs, the people left behind. <laughs> Revelation 11:4. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands standing before the God of the earth. Revelation 12:7. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought. Colossians 3, 4. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. <clears throat> Here's the message. My child, I'm coming. Things are about to turn for the worse. The drinking water will be contaminated. It's coming, my child. They want you to rely on them. Some states have already experienced this detriment, but soon it will be everywhere. April 16th, plans commence. Now keep in mind, guys, the, the calendars have changed. I tried to get out of the April 16th date, but he wouldn't let me, literally, like I could not erase it. Um, <clears throat> you may not see everything they are doing because some of it will be behind the scenes. Fentanyl will be used. I'm sorry, fentanyl, mitocardin. No, I'm sorry, fentanyl will be used. Mitocardin will take effect. Okay, this, this is weird, guys, so. When I heard this, I thought I heard like Mito Carson. So I started Googling it 
and I saw mitocardin and I was like, whoa. Okay, we'll take effect. Seizures, people falling, Wormwood, Chernobyl, <clears throat> or Chernobyl, I can never pronounce that word. Look at who is in charge of the water. They will promote it. It's new, do not be deceived. This will come after the rapture. When the people are gone, don't drink their water. Population control, it's their plans to depopulate the world. Look at distribution. Look who is running it, who has their pocket in it. There will be many who turn to me after Harpazo. I'm trying to protect you. Trust in me, believe in me and I will save you. Warn my child, warn, this is the enemy's plan. I have allowed it to happen. My judgment is here. My wrath will soon be announced all over the world. Listen to my prophets, they speak truth. Listen to my dreamers and my visionaries. I love you, my children. Please wake up. Harpazo is coming. I will take my children and my chosen ones. Once they are gone, my full wrath will come down on this world. Pestilence, famine, earthquakes, every major catastrophe you couldn't dream of. No man will survive it without my protection. Put your faith and trust in me. Let me save you. I am your Adonai and I have spoken. Then he gave me Deuteronomy 9.8. Also in Herb, you provoked the Lord to wrath so that the Lord was angry enough with you to have destroyed you. Job 4.11. The old lion perishes for lack of prey and the cubs of lioness are scattered. Amos 3.5. Will a bird fall into a snare on the earth? Where there's no trap for it, will snare spring up from the earth if he has caught nothing at all? Jude 1, 4 through 9. For certain men have crept in unnoticed who long ago were marked out for this condemnation. Ungodly men who turn the grace of our God into lewdness and deny the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. But I want to remind you, though you once knew this, that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed those who did not believe. And the angels who did not keep their proper domain but left their own abode. He is reserved in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day. As Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them in a similar manner to these, having given themselves over to sexual immorality and gone after strange flesh, are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these dreamers defile the flesh, reject authority, and speak evil of dignitaries. Yet Michael the archangel, in contending with the devil when he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring against him a reviling accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke you. John 6, 4. Now the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was near. Revelations 8, 5 through 7. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and threw it to the earth. And there were noises, thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake. So the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded and hail and fire followed mingled with blood and they were thrown to the earth and a third of the trees were burned up and all green grass was burned up. Okay, I got all of that this morning guys after those crazy dreams. I don't dream. I'm usually not one of his dreamers. But when he has something so important like Obama being the Antichrist, he gave me the dream. Um... So if you don't know Jesus, believe in him, ask him to come into your life, confess your sins, confess that he is Lord, and he will save you guys. He will. He doesn't want anyone to perish. Guys, you know, when I heard April 16th the other day, I wanted to know why, and I started Googling things, and you know, I prayed about it, and then I heard it again this morning. I mean, it woke me up after my two dreams. So again, God said all the calendars have been changed. You know, nothing meets the eye. It's nothing like we think. So if April 16th comes by and we don't see anything, I don't know. I'm just being obedient. He put this on my heart this morning. I mean, this was a brutal message for me. I mean, I was screaming in this dream. So it really, uh, it, it terrified me. And for the people who don't know Jesus, and I believe, I believe he's coming to get his church soon, guys. I do. All right. Have a blessed day, and I love you.